So when people tell you to use a full range of motion in exercise, they have no clue what they're talking about because there's a difference between an effective range of motion, meaning a safe, adequate range of motion, which provides an adequate stimulus to improve your muscles in size and strength versus the amount of range of motion that a joint or a muscle is capable of. Now you don't want to work a muscle throughout its entire range of motion that it is capable of. This will almost certainly produce an injury and does not provide any additional benefit in terms of improvements in strength throughout the range of motion and muscle growth. Anyone who tells you different has no damn clue what they're talking about. I'm not gonna explain to you right now the physiology behind this. So there's a particular part of the range of motion which results in the most muscle torque. Muscle torque, or another easier term for this, is strength. We want to challenge the muscle in the position where it provides the most muscle torque. The reason it's providing the most muscle torque, as I've said before, is because of the amount of overlap between the actin and myosin filaments. The more overlap between the actin and myosin filaments, the more cross bridging occurs, the more damage occurs, the more stimulus occurs in terms of muscle size and muscle strength. Now in these fully lengthened or least concentric positions or most concentric positions, you're generating an environment of inadequate actin and myosin overlap, which means you're not gonna get as much cross bridging, you're not gonna get as much damage, and you're not gonna get as powerful of a stimulus. There seems to be this belief, this erroneous belief, that working a muscle in a very extended position or a very contracted position provides additional benefit in terms of muscle growth and muscle strength. This is false. Your body will improve its ability to produce muscle torque pretty much in the middle of the range of motion where it's getting adequate actin and myosin overlap. It does not produce very drastic improvements in strength or ability to produce muscle force, force in fully extended or least concentric positions or most concentric positions. It will improve its ability to produce force in these positions, but very minuscule. Here's a graph to show an untrained individual versus a trained individual versus an individual who trained substantially for a substantial amount of period over time. As you can see, the ability to produce muscle torque does not really improve all that much in the most concentric or most contracted position in the fully lengthened position. Most of the improvement of muscle torque is going to have, happen somewhere in the middle of the range of motion. So working a muscle in these most contracted or least contracted positions is not going to have an effect on your muscle's ability to produce force in these positions. It, it only improves so much. So by training the muscle in these fully lengthened positions or fully contracted positions, you're simply only increasing the risk of injury with no additional benefit in terms of being able to produce strength or muscle torque in those positions and no additional benefit in terms of stimulating muscle growth. So what you want to do...